Okay, so the painting is now varnished. It's all done. And for a face-to-face -face class, you would want to get this painting matted, get it nice and presentable to hang on the wall for your very last critique and or wall presentation for the whole class. So obviously I have a mat here with a seven by 10 window cut. It's uh, very nice and presentable. There's no paint or the edges are all really nice and clean. I didn't use a butter knife or a chainsaw to cut the mat. Uh, I either used a brand new X-Acto blade or I went and got the mat cut by a professional uh, mat cutter. So the one thing that you always have to keep in mind that when we painted this painting to begin with, we made the format area or the image area. It was actually the assignment for the class was seven by 10, but I painted out just a little bit further or, and that is called a bleed. So it's actually seven and an eighth or seven and a quarter inches versus 10 and a quarter inches. So your image area is a little bit larger than seven by 10 so that when you go to put this mat on it, there isn't any smaller areas. So I would come in with my mat and I would place that on there. So for example, if, if my image area that I painted wasn't measured correctly and I had this line down here of unpainted painting and gesso, uh, showing gesso, that is a bad thing. So because I measured correctly and I start my painting and it's, and it's uh, larger than seven by 10, then my painting is done and ready and clean. Make sure it's all covered. All of the cons inconsistencies are covered. Now the edge is nice and clean and matted. Then I would tape it in there and that painting now is ready for the last presentation critique. That will conclude this oil rendering assignment. Congratulations. Happy that you made it through. Hopefully you're happy with your finished product and your photorealistic painting. All right.